The RapidStack microplate stacker operates easily and reliably with the Biotech Eon Reader. What's nice about this setup is that by adding a barcode reader on the left, you can add barcode data into the file name of each plate. Now this setup requires Biotech's Gen 5 data analysis software, Polera RS scheduling software, which is supplied with the RapidStack, and the Gen 5 software driver for Polera RS. Once you have the Gen 5 driver, you can use your RapidStack with a wide variety of biotech detection devices. You'll notice how the RapidStack queues up plates using a staging nest and smoothly orchestrates movement to maximize uptime of the Eon. Let's watch a little more and then we'll move on to the software setup. Here we are in the Polera RS setup page. The first thing we need to do is add our instruments to our system. As you can see, we have no instruments on either side of the rapid stack. To do this, we're going to go to Tools, Options, and the Equipment tab comes up. First thing we'll do is check the settings of our rapid stack. First of all, we need to be in normal mode, not in simulation. We've given our rapid stack a name, which is rapid stack. I'm using just a standard rapid stack, not a 2x, so I select that model and I have to identify the COM port that my rapid stack is on. I know that my rapid stack is on COM8. And all I have to do is select OK. Next, we're going to use instrument 1. And this is going to be our barcode reader. So we just pull down. The barcode reader is the MS3 laser scanner. And again, we have to select the settings. So again, the mode is going to be normal. We have to give the barcode reader a name. I'm just going to give it barcode. It is an MS3 laser scanner and I am on COM7. The barcode path is sort of preset here. If you'd like the uh, log files to go elsewhere, you can select that. And delete barcode on file startup. I have it as false and that's what you want. And you hit OK. Next, we need to select the checkbox, Use Instrument 2. And from the drop-down, we need to select our driver. And our driver is going to be the Biotech Gen 5 Reader. So just like with the other instruments, we have to configure our Eon. So again, we want our mode set to normal. We have to give our instrument a name, so I just gave it Eon. And you have to identify the method path. So this is the path where I have all my experiments saved. If you need to change this path, you just click on the box here with the three dots and you can change that to wherever you have your experiments saved. You have to identify the COM port and I'm on COM9. You have to type in your reader serial number and then select your reader type from the drop down just to confirm and again I'm on an Eon reader. On the uh, data file name, I am going to add my barcodes. If you just wanted to add container names, that's fine, but I have a barcode reader, so I'm going to take advantage of that. And then again, you identify the path where you want the read data to go. So I just created a folder on my C drive called Eon Reads. Again, if you would like to change that, you just click on the three dots here. So all you do now is you hit OK, 
and OK again. Then up here under the Tasks panel, you want to select Create a new assay. So this takes us to our process editor. All we need to do is drag and drop operations from the left hand panel into the center panel. So to do that I'm going to start with my barcode read and now the properties box becomes active. This is asking if I want to intervene on a no read. So because I have a barcode reader if it does not read the barcode do I want to type in uh, some numbers? No I don't. I'm going to hit false and Polara RS will just set some numbers for me because I want to walk away so that's far more convenient. Next I go to my Eon and I do run program. So I drag that in the middle again my properties becomes active and so I want to click on there click on the drop down arrow and so now I have a whole series of my experiments that I can choose from that saved in Gen 5 and I can just save or pull from there any experiment. So I'm going to hit experiment 3 and that's basically my process. It's going to read a barcode, send it to the reader, and then store the plate. So all we have to do now is select run this assay. On the start assay pop-up I just select where my source plates are. I hit the restack checkbox and now all I have to do is select start now. So in the background I have my rabbit stack homing and establishing communication to the instruments. You can see that we have a view of the equipment tab. I can toggle back to assay tab. But I'm going to stay on the equipment tab and what will happen is you'll see a pop-up of several of the functions as it's happening live. So you can see now I'm retrieving container 1 from the rapid stack. It's going to the barcode reader. and it's going to prep container 2. So now you see container 1 has been given a barcode read and it's taken over to the Eon reader and you could see it's going to run its program on the Eon. And it's simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration.